With another step back toward normal. You do not need a mask outside in North Carolina anymore. We can also get together in larger groups indoors and outdoors. And these changes as of just a couple hours ago are really impacting some people and affecting the work that they're getting back to. Our Justin Schrick explains how from a winery in Davidson County. Here at Weathervane Winery, folks say the increase in mass gathering limits will help them significantly. Being able to get activity back at the winery, that's one of the big things that got canceled. Weddings, outdoor events, and wine festivals. Weathervane Winery owner Sid Proctor is looking forward to serving more customers at his winery in Davidson County. And the fact that we can now start to do things outside that opens up a whole lot of factors, not only for the winery, but for the people that we employ. It's going to give a lot of people extra hours that we haven't been able to do. Uh, and it's just going to be really great for the community. Executive Order 209 took effect Friday. It allows 100 people to gather together indoors and increases the number of people who can gather outdoors to 200. I mean, that's a large portion of a lot of the winery's uh, revenue stream and last year totally obliterated, but increasing that to 200 really gives us the capability to do a lot more and get back to normal here at Weathervane. Proctor says while the last year was tough, it was his dedicated customers who helped support the winery and keep their revenue numbers stable. We were very, very fortunate. We have a fantastic base of customers and they supported us through the thick and thin. And as he looks toward the future, Proctor says he will continue to keep his customers safe and is encouraging folks to get out and explore the wineries North Carolina has to offer. We'll continue to keep things sort of spaced out until we're over the mask mandate, which hopefully is going to be June the 1st. And then we'll have a mask burning, wine drinking celebration. The state anticipates lifting more restrictions on June 1st if COVID trends continue to remain stable and vaccinations continue to increase. In Davidson County, Justin Schreyer, WXII 12 News. Next week, we'll see another sign of the